and Yeah. All right guys, man, what is up with this weather? Like seriously, it's snowing. Like literally yesterday I had a tricking session, a side of the house tricking session. It was like nice out, now it's snowing, it's ridiculous. But anyways, um, yeah, just went on a four mile uh, jog, I guess. Definitely was uh, pretty tough, especially in this weather. My feet are soaked. And that was after I did 100 burpees, or I attempted to do 100 burpees under five minutes, but I got like, you know, seven or eight minutes. That's the weekly challenge video, if you guys haven't seen that already, or maybe it's gonna be up tomorrow, depending on when I upload this video. Yeah, so uh, did 100 burpees, then we did the four mile run. Now I'm gonna do a in-home or in-garage, like leg superset workout, basically finish it up. Maybe you're gonna do some strides out there, out on the, you know, the, the 40 meter length thing. It's over 40 meters, all right, not that slow. Let's hit this leg workout up. You guys can feel free to follow along or just copy this now. So I'm gonna do 100 jumping swish lunges, okay? Four sets, so four sets of 25. And then I'm going to do 40 jump squats or max vertical jumps. I'm just gonna jump as high as I can. And that's why I'm in the garage here. Set one, let's do this. That's hard, that's hard. Alright, 10 verb jumps. Let's go. Three more sets of that, wow. Oh, that's it. Forgive the hair, bro. That's it and stretch it out. So um, honestly running some strides after doing like a leg workout, something that really burns up the legs, those strides like help loosen the legs back up and I think they honestly help start the recovery process. I didn't go all out, just like 80, 90% at the most. So that's today's workout, pretty basic, but I just wanted to keep it simple. If you're doing the one month plan, just stick to that workout or if you're doing you know any other plan, bodyweight beast or something, stick to the workout you're doing. You don't have to do any of this, it's just, you know, right now this is unstructured time for me. I'm not doing any structured training right now. I'm just messing around, just trying to try some new things. But with that being said, I am rewriting an old program. You'll see, you'll see. And if you purchased this program in the last three months, it's not the one month plan, it's another one. <laughs> what other one is there? It's not too hard. Then you'll receive this new version. This new version. Now before we go inside, I wanna unbox something that I've been waiting a while to unbox. I've been waiting to do it with you guys. Been waiting, I've been waiting to do it with you. Yeah, so I got this a while ago on eBay. I got a good deal. I haven't even opened it, so I don't know the condition it's in. It's used. You'll see, I'm so excited. What is it? All right, can anybody guess what this is? It pretty much is exactly what it is. <laughs> How does that make any sense? You'll see. How do you open a box? With your hands. Oh, man. Okay. That is so sick. Ready? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, you pull this like this, and then you twist it like that. See that? Pull it out, twist it. Oh, that is so sick. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. That is so dope. Look at that. All right. So what the heck, bro? Really, what the heck? 
I don't know, are you guys surprised? Do you guys wanna see me unbox more things that are just completely random that I buy? Yeah? So I bought this a while ago, you know, for some storage space. Great deal on eBay. It's like my first purchase on eBay in over like 15 years. Like the last time I bought something on e eBay, I had to get my dad to buy it. I was like, Daddy, could you buy me that airsoft pistol? You know what I mean? Like, um, yo, okay, so this is a uh, military surplus storage container. I, I got it because I wanted it airtight, okay? I wanted an airtight container. Oh yeah, it's got a little equalizer e equalizer pressure button um, just to keep like moisture out. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just put stuff in there. I'm like low on containers. All I have is like a few cheap things and like cardboard boxes and it just looks really crappy. So yeah, this is for the man cave. It's a surplus case. It was a, under like 50 bucks, I think around that price. Maybe. Maybe only like 40. And if you know Pelican, like a new Pelican case is like, something like this would be a couple hundred bucks. But man, I think it's cool that like OD green, military look, you know what I mean? What is it, I'll drab green. All right, try to get, can you guess what I'm gonna put in this? Books. You see how these things work right here? Okay, so it goes on like this, then you twist it, and it pulls it tight, and you just pop that down. Airtight, baby. All done with the shower. Time for a protein shake. So this is honestly my favorite uh, vegan plant-based protein powder blend. For blends, this is my favorite. It's the best. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this in there next. Hey, little secret, put your uh, liquid in first, then turn it on low, just so it kind of mixes, and drop your protein powder right into the vortex. That way it doesn't, you know, like you don't put it all in and it sticks all to the sides and stuff. You know how it does that? And now add in your stuff. We're doing frozen bananas. Yuck. Frozen pineapple chunks. Just a few. Oh, I was gonna stop it there, but then, you know, I said, hey, throw some dark cherries in there too. Let's kind of add a little bit of a color. Now I'll put the cap on because it's gonna skip and jump all over the place. Yeah, see. Here we go. Oh, look at that, nice consistency. Yo, simple and delicious. So let me share with you guys why I started running, I guess, and maybe it'll be inspiring and maybe it'll be uh, motivating to some of you guys right now because I know basically all of us, we're at home, we're quarantined to the house for the next couple of weeks or we're just told to stay in place because all the gyms are closed around the world. I've gotten most of my cardiovascular training from power move training and also a little bit from tricks here and there from doing flips and stuff but mainly from the b-boy training now over the last couple of weeks uh, quite a few weeks i just decided hey i'm so sick of just the stagnant training that i've been doing i want to switch everything up and i did the one month plan so when i made the one month plan and when i launched it and when we started doing the one month plan everybody who started with me if you didn't start if you're starting now that's okay you can start whatever but if you started with me the gyms were not closed at that time like we were not planning for the gyms to be closed coincidentally halfway through the program everything was basically closed down which did not affect our ability to do the program because it was an in-home program so seriously none of that was planned I was not planning for any gyms or anything to close down I wasn't planning for this craziness to happen and seriously my prayers go out to all of you for your health and safety and I'm hoping things will come back to normal and I hope poof it was just gone and everything's back to normal soon now when it came to an end because I wasn't planning on gyms to close down I was actually thinking I was gonna go back to the gym and be able to train power moves, b-boy stuffs, and just, you know, do do like everything I kind of used to, but more at like an elevated level now. But they're keeping the gyms closed longer, and they're keeping everything closed down longer, and the quarantine's lasting longer than they thought. That plays into running because I decided, hey, you know what, that's okay with me. This plan has been so great, I'm just gonna kind of do similar things to these workouts in home. I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna structure it just like this, and I'm gonna do that. Then. Gotta give credit when credit's due. My wife, Jacqueline, she's like, hey, yo, I'm gonna start running. And she wanted to do this like loop. It was like four miles. You know, I ran it with her. Holy moly, my legs are sore. I was moving slow. It was like over 10 minutes a mile pace. And I'm like, man, that was hard. But when I was done, I felt so accomplished. And I realized, man, I haven't done anything so simple to where you could feel so accomplished just so simple and it's that it's those simple things sometimes that just like man you don't even realize how good of like 
results regarding feeling, the calories burning, just cardiovascular improvement. It's the most simple thing you can do. Just, you don't have to really, you just get up and you do it. You know what I mean? You don't have to prepare, you don't have to go to a gym, you don't have to do anything like that. You just strap on your shoes, just start running. Man, I am having some serious trouble logging on to online banking right now. It is like not working, it hasn't been working for like the past 12 hours. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> You know, there was a huge line out of PNC too, out of the ATM line. There was just like a huge line over there. I think all the banking apps are crashing right now because everybody's trying to log on to their online banking and check to see if they got their stimulus check, it's including me. All right guys, I wanna show you guys, like I said, what I'm cooking up is one whole cup of rice dry. So yeah, I'm gonna eat that whole thing. And um, over here is my vegetables. I've got asparagus and broccoli, a decent heaping amount guys. I've been Upping the greens, upping the greens, feeling a lot better. This is what I'm eating for the main course right here. Whoa, hot in there, yep. So that's three pieces of wild caught salmon. Now surprisingly, this is the first animal protein meal I've had this entire week. So what is it today? It's Wednesday. I haven't had animal protein in over four days. So the last four days, I've eaten completely vegan. And you might be thinking like, bro, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this? Like, or haven't you always been vegan? The, the truth is, no, I haven't. I honestly was, you know, I was probably eating meat every single day. I was trying to take like, maybe like one meatless day, you know, like meatless Monday. But then when I did the one month plan, I was like, yo, let's up it to two meatless days a week and see how we feel. Just as long as we keep the nutrition clean and everything, keep that those foods whole, you know, the most important part. And I actually started to feel better. So I'm like, yo, why don't we maximize this? Now what I've been doing is I've been basically only eating animal protein once or twice a week. So f about five days a week, I am just eating completely vegan. Honestly, I've been feeling pretty darn good. And then also for my animal protein sources that I have been eating like once or twice a week, it's for the last four weeks, all it has been is fish and actually all it's been is salmon. So what is that? It's pescatarian, is that what it's called? Pescatarian? So I've been basically pescatarian. You know what, regardless of like that, regardless of just eating vegan, regardless of eating plant-based, that is just something that you can honestly choose to do right now. For all of us, another, here's another thing for you. Just throw, I'm just throwing information at you guys. So a lot of us have time. A lot of us have time right now. And a lot of people are just, you know, watching TV, watching Netflix, watching Amazon, watching whatever. And they're just like buying stuff online, watching TV and buying stuff online. But if you're into like, you know, fitness and nutrition, well, you know what? Now might be just the time to try something new. You're not going to the gym. You're not going through your gym routine anyways right now. So why go through the same old nutrition? nutrition routine. Maybe you're doing something wrong and you're, you don't even know it. Maybe your body could do better with something else. So now's the time to try stuff. Maybe even take stuff out. You don't always need more of stuff. Sometimes you can just take stuff away. Well, like for example, if you're someone who's just been down in those energy drinks, this is a good one. Down in that coffee every single day. We, now that you're home and you're, you know, you're kind of just relaxed, why don't you try cutting back on the caffeine, cutting back on the stimulants? You know, give your body a rest. You gotta think, where can you improve? It's not just like, oh man, it's all downhill from here. No, time off is actually extremely valuable time. This is valuable time where you can build discipline and you can improve yourself in areas you just need to use your mind, you need to get creative. I threw my vegetables on top of there, put a little bit of uh, seasoning on there, a little bit of that basil seasoning. This is the key stuff right here, man. I swear, I love this. Okay, so for everyone still sticking around, this is actually super embarrassing. I mentioned I did 100 burpees this morning. I tried to do it under five minutes, and that's gonna be the weekly workout challenge. It was way harder than I thought, but I actually already attempted this yesterday, <laughs> but when I was watching the footage, when I was watching the video, you just take a look, yeah. Like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, <laughs> that form. I mean, my form gets bad today when I did it. it. Like, it gets bad, it's just so fatiguing, but that, that like, C curve, it's not even a burpee. I think you have to, like, put your hands up. So, that's why I didn't upload that one, because I knew it just was not gonna go through, you know, comment customs, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's be like, those aren't burpees. But, yeah, so, man, look at this hair. I was thinking, should I grow it out? Should we grow the flow? Back to 2013, get it down to here. Yeah. 
All right, guys, here's the finished product. Man, that's a picture of health. Got that white basmati rice, heaping ton of green vegetables, piece of salmon, baked. I haven't had meat in like four days, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Pretty out there. All right, what's up guys? It's the next morning. I gotta keep my voice down like I used to in some of my older videos because uh, my wife's on a meeting in her office right now. So yeah, it's the morning now. It's like 7 a.m. Got my space heater on. Got this, uh, I literally got this from my aunt, uncle, cousin as well. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, tons more videos coming out. Speaking of that, I just got an email from this one company that's sending me this product. And you guys, remember the air filter thing that I, I was going through, that little air filter craze? If you thought that was random, you better wait for this. It's gonna be a good review. No, you know what? It's not totally random, because you guys remember this, if you watch my like uh, Amazon survival gear. Here, let me let me show you that. You guys remember this little survive, survival phone battery pack? Look at that, see the lights turn on when it, when it hits the solar power? That's not the point. The point is that this is like a power cell that holds a charge. So I have this company sending me like the mag daddy of all power cells. Basically like a battery generator, yo. And it's, they're sending it to me to do a review video. And I'm like, <laughs> heck yeah, I'll do a review video on it. I'm excited to try it. We're gonna see if we can power some like big things. Cause like this won't power like, you know, like a toaster oven or anything, but we'll see if the big battery pack will. Maybe we'll see if it can power the fridge. That's like supposed to come in like maybe within next week or something like that. Other than that though, stay tuned tomorrow. The workout challenge should be coming out. Um, honestly, I'm feeling pretty sore right now, like in the legs and like a little bit the back. Not like a bad sore, like a good sore. Um, just from, I, I know it's from doing those burpees, cause like, that actually like shocked my body and was like, you know, just, yeah, with under 10 minutes, got like a shock to the body, got like good stimulation going on. So uh, definitely try that out if you want a good workout in your house. Something that's challenging, something that's just gonna push you and just change it up a bit for you. My stimulus check is still not in. Maybe I'm not getting one. <laughs> Did you guys get yours? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Everybody stay safe and stay well out there. Peace. You all have a good one. I will see you all in the next video.